Hello and welcome to this video. Here is something very special in the wise. It's a lock that was sent to me from Norway um, from one of my viewers who got in contact with me and he told me that this is one of his favorite locks. And we made a little trade so he sent this lock to me and I sent him a Burgwächter Gamma so that every one of us can have some fun. And the very special thing on this lock is Look at that key, it's a 7 pin lock. Pretty good bidding also. Lock works. No problem. And I think this lock is a Biltimer. Because he mentioned a YouTube video from Bosnian Bill where he picked one of uh, these kind of locks. And yeah, that was a Biltimer. So I think this is a Biltimer lock. But now let's pick it. I apply medium, at least medium tension and use this Peterson jam to pick it. So it's not the first time that I pick this lock, it's about the, I don't know, fifth or seventh time. For first time I picked it in the hand, it took me about maybe 10 minutes and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice pick. So I'm at uh, number seven currently and you see this is the gatekeeper and now the core has turned into a false set and now I'm searching for, for feedback, for spools and sometimes these spools set easy sometimes they cause the block to return a lot and to uh, reset some of the other pins that were set before and then we have to play with the tension try to set the other pins again and sometimes I think also I overset uh, the spools when I um, push it too hard and then I have to jiggle a little bit. So it's it's a nice play on this lock. Really, really enjoyable play. Ha! And it's open. Yep. Sometimes it's quick. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But uh, very enjoyable, as I said. Uh, picking it... Um, the other way around is a little bit uh, more difficult, not too much, but a little bit. So uh, I need to change the tripod configuration, like so. So now let's cut it. It's not yet cut it, so I'm really curious to, to see the pins. Poor clip is ah, it's heavily bent now. Not yet off. Yeah, now it's off. Um, let's see. I think I need a big follower with a larger diameter. I hope this gap won't make any trouble. Hmm. Let's hope for the best. Works nice. Yeah, look at that. Seven pins. That's amazing. <laughs> very, very smooth. Wow. Very cool. You also see two uh, steel rods here as grill protection. But now let's dump out the uh, key pins. Yeah, had seven slots, this pinning tray. That's perfect. So that was seven at the same time. I'm not used to gut seven pin locks. My thumb is not long enough. Ah. Okay. These are uh, all standard key pins. Very well made, pretty pins, shiny, smooth, 
very very nice all right now let's check the drivers a spool in number one wow cool uh, multi spool in number two Regular spool in three. <laughs> Another cool multi spool in fours. Normal spool in five. Multi spool in six and seven. We got one. Ah, we got a standard. Ah, that was the gatekeeper. All right. Now let's dump out the springs. All nice steel springs. that you can have a nice view to the pins so all standard key pins as I said very smooth and well made uh, this one is upside down they appear to be tapered this one is also upside down yeah they are tapered maybe for um, easing uh, the key insertion um, and we have um, a mixture of regular spools and these I think they are they are called Christmas tea Christmas tree uh, pins so two uh, spool parts and a very sharp um, ring in the middle and uh, uh, smaller diameter tip so like a um, like a t-pin but with a with an edge that gives these uh, this special feeling when when I pick the lock yeah really really nice lock great um, great feedback really enjoyable I'm very thankful that I could have a try or could have an attempt to play on this lock so Thank you very much for uh, sending this my way. Uh, yeah, anybody else? Um, thank you very much uh, for watching. Get everything together for a final view. Also, this amazing uh, key. Yeah, thanks for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.